I like women are sh- like you. You come on here, and I, I've seen you ask girls, "What's your body count?" It's a, it's shameful. It's sh- people. You're it's, Is it's, it? it's meant to be like, oh, your body count's higher. Wait, don't, don't you hold on? It's hold on. Okay no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Counts, but what are the, Sorry, I gotta interrupt you here. Let me engage you precisely on this. So, <laughs> you object to me shaming women for their body count. Which I, think, I don't really think I do. Well, I, it's meant to I be asked because you say like, oh, like, I think pretty sure you ask like, oh, like, or I don't know. Does yeah, it matter? I ask you ask if it matters or I, something talk, like that. Sure, we talk um, about body I mean, count. I, well, the, question. the point is it's you would never ask a man and then shame them for it. Actually, well, actually, I'm, I've said this multiple times on the podcast. Nobody cares about a man's body count. Well, hold on. I've said this multiple multiple times on the podcast. I'm actually not in favor of male promiscuity either. I'm not either. I don't do hookup. I just do it for my job. But right, but so hold on. So are you do you have trouble with me shaming women or do you have trouble with you think there's a double standard? I think that there is a double standard. And right, it may I've, not necessarily just, be from you, so, okay. but from everyone. I've just stated though that I object to male promiscuity but too. Do you know another podcast that asks men their body count hosted by a woman? If you want to yeah, start guys we f- guys we f- Call her, call her daddy, daddy guys. <laughs> we fucked. Uh, I'm good friends. No, call with her the daddy. T- bring out both men, eat men and women equally. But you guys bring out only girls. You, you say you guys. We fucked is a, firstly my friend Corinne many? Fisher runs that podcast. I'm close friends with her. We dated. She literally. It's a podcast about people. She. And people who are promiscuous. It's the anti slut shaming podcast. She literally has men on there to talk about how they are. That's the whole premise of the show. But do they also bring women on uh, equally? I mean, they talk to women about not sex they too. They talk about a lot of gossip, a lot of women, a lot of female female go on those podcasts. But they it's add, not about targeting. We're, we're it's not about also, targeting men, but this is about targeting this women. This is a dating different. podcast. But why so men it, date too? Why I'm on here. I'm a man. What do you not know, see proportions? <laughs> Darling, but why is what? it wrong for a man to ask about body count, but it's okay for a woman to ask about a man's bank Sorry. account? I'm not what? asking about the bank account. A bank Actually, account or anything. That's not everyone. I don't know. Wrong. I always ask bank account information. Oh, like, okay. if you don't want to so that's not. You wait, got my but, point, right? Um, yeah. Um, yeah. That's okay. a W for... T- uh, yeah. Um, wait, hold on. So... Where, 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 where did this we're come from? About, the um, the but, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, we're talking no, about... So you're like, well, you shame the women, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm not in favor of male promiscuity either. I think it's different, but... I think uh, they're both... I mean, I think well, people can do it. Well, we can want. get into that, but you said... You said hookup culture ruins dating. I think it does. Annoying because no one wants to commit anymore. So if hookup culture is bad, hookup culture would be proxy for promiscuity. Promiscuity is proxy for having a high body count. So... How are we going if you object to hookup culture? Uh, there, we're for not going to hold on, me. hold on. Well, most people will say they object to hook, hookup culture, but if you start shaming female sexuality and promiscuity, all of a sudden it's a problem. We're, there's no way we're going to be able to legislate women to not fuck a bunch of dudes. So the only solution to hookup culture is by shaming. Female sexuality and promiscuity. I think adults can do what they want to do, yeah. and personally. Ah, but okay, then if you can just do whatever you want to do, but hookup culture bad. How do you solve hookup culture? I don't culture? like hookup culture. I don't partake in it. I do it for my. I guess I do. So you don't want to see the world improve. I mean, so I think that it ruins dating because personally, like I am. Even before I did adult content, it was very frustrating because it's like. Bro, like I'll like every nobody. I feel like nobody's in relationships. I feel like it's all just hook up, hook up, hook up, hook up, easy. Okay, so why don't we shame men and women who engage in promiscuous behavior? Because I mean, I don't know. I feel like what would be wrong with that? I feel like if they're they're gonna do it, if they're gonna do it, and they're like, I mean, if they want to okay, do people it, are gonna fine. sell drugs and commit all sorts of crimes. Okay, but like I, I'm not. Doing we should it, try but, like, to like if they want to create a social prep. And I am. And adults are allowed to make those decisions for yeah. themselves. Not, but what, I don't want to do it. Can though. I but say sh- something sh- first, uh, let, Or let's let Shane go, then I'll yeah, have yeah. you come in. Shame is, shame is something that you, is a power you give to someone else to give to you. Like, if, if I'm Mormon and I drink coffee and someone sees it, I will feel shame. But if you drink coffee, do you care at all? Mm-mm. No. And so when he says, what's your body count, and you feel like you're being shamed... I'll tell you right now. I mean, I don't know my... You don't right have now. to. I don't no, care. No, she can tell. Oh, okay. yeah. I mean, yeah, actually, what am I talking about? That's the whole I show. My I bad, don't, I really genuinely don't know, but but why? Really but if he asks women who come on this podcast, "What's your body count?" and you think that he is shaming them, why? If the body count doesn't matter, then they should just powerfully say, "It's a good point." This and then whatever. 
mm-hmm. and then just move on because their sexuality is theirs. It doesn't belong to Brian. Brian's opinion doesn't affect them. But everyone seems to feel really weird yeah. and awkward about it because yeah. it's almost like sex is really intimate and beautiful and essential to the human experience. It's done to, I think, try to like embarrass women. And like I said, I don't really care about body count personally. I am a, a do adult content and so it, like it doesn't really matter to me as much. But um, I don't know. I, think I actually am. Um, if a girl reveals her body count on the show and it's high, I have absolutely typically like no reaction. I don't know it exactly. even if it's high. I'm pretty much just like okay. I, I mean, okay. I mean, it, <laughs> actually, it doesn't really matter. I think it's that not about embarrassing them. I when mean, you're it's like, just a conversation when you're there. like an adult, especially the older you get, I feel like the less it matters. It's more of like an immature thing. I think. What do you mean an immature thing? Because it's like I don't know. Like think about like I mean. To, you mean immature to care about body count? Yeah, I think it is kind of because I mean the more okay. ex- the older you get, the more experience you get, and it's like the more like I think that if you care about it, it's because like. I mean, it's, I think it's immature. I think that... It's immature. Yeah. I think it gets convoluted. I don't think it's that we care about body count. I think it's it's the... What happens to you because of the high body count, right? But like, you happens? have it all these... I think some sometimes, people may view it as a great. loyalty issue. Sometimes it's terrible and something. you're messed up because of it. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. All right. It's going to sound a little bit Sorry. harsh, but I do not mean it that way. We are both harsh, right? Mm-hmm. We work do you do, do you do content with other people, though? I did one movie okay. with the guy that told you. But I think as a are, if we look honestly at ourselves, we cannot say we are against hookup con- culture if that's literally our job. I don't do any kind of stuff outside of content, though. I, I've never But been you that hook kind of up with men, but you do not want to be I mean, judged I, by it. I do not judge you at all. I don't, don't care if don't people get judge it. me for it's my job. But you cannot say, I do not like it when you do it for a living. But it's like different. I like because I'm we a relationship be person. Like I do not like it and do it for a living. It's very like I'm a relationship a person. Stand that we have to be honest with ourselves. We're doing. We cannot say I do not like it and do it. I it's mean, weird. I don't want to. I don't do it. I've never done it outside of content. I don't really like it. Yeah, but it. it's still content. I mean, not it's all still car mechanics up. like being car mechanics, right? I, I'm okay some people. With my job. I'm. I'm. I'm I not like saying it. that there are people in the industry who don't like it. I'm just saying you could do it and not but like if it. If you do it for, for sure. a living, hooking up for a living and making a movie, you cannot say I do not like it. I feel like it's you not can, a hook. The up point is less that and more that you can't be a car mechanic and then be like, dang, all these cars on the road all this time. I hate it here. <laughs> Thank you. No, you, you, you got my point about my the voice. atmosphere because I do think a lot of shame are put upon women by men and it's societal and it's caused by patriarchy. That's what I think. And to oh, your point, boy. you think shame is you giving your power away to someone else. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's true because as human beings, we unconsciously care about what other people think. So in order to fit into society, unconsciously we feel shame because everybody's opinion affects us. So when you call us promiscuous, promiscuous mm-hmm. and when you use a negative term to describe someone who you perceive like like for instance to short, lot, like for instance the word short. Yeah. Yeah. Like if I'm, so I just think that mm-hmm. that's not true. Okay. Like, I don't know. You interrupted my thought, and then I just Go like ahead. farted. Go ahead. Keep <laughs> my my brain just farted. Sorry. If we would have women ruling the world, we would so, just so shame is put upon us by men Definitely a lot of times, and women who couldn't, you know. What's, I think you should. What's actually? I, I, what's actually wrong with shame? Shame like, what doesn't is make progress. Wrong? Shame and guilt actually stall your progress. I, I say what do you mean pro- positive bullying. When you say progress, you, mm-hmm. your progress. you would but, com- improve. But so, for example, like if negative, negative, uh, if actions contribute to uh, negative world outcomes or like starts breaking down society, mm-hmm. like how do you actually start defending against that without like? passing laws. The only yeah. way you have is social pressure and shame. Like, so unless we're prepared to legislate, like, okay, enforced monogamy, which is never going to happen. Really, the only way that you're going to be able to combat promiscuity in both men and women is to shame promiscuity yeah. in men honest. and women. And Technically, we have forced honest. monogamy yeah. because polygamy yeah, is illegal. Have, yeah, maybe we well, shouldn't have monogamy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. More so like... Um, but that proves your point. Right. Yeah. So... Yeah. All right. we, it's, you That's have to same. shame people out of the bad thing, yeah. polygamy, yeah, yeah. which is a practice that destroys communities and you know drives men to commit suicide and it has all kinds of other problems. But like, 
anyway, I grew up in Utah, so polygamists are all over the place. Mm. But oh. um, yeah, it's bad. Yeah. So it's shame is makes sense. Uh, but you both agree that hookup culture is bad. I mean, I personally, for me, I don't like it. I'm I'm a such a love lover girl, so I just want like a boyfriend, and obviously that doing my job makes that difficult. But there's someone for everyone, so sure. there will be um. someone for me. Are there any specific young. things that you disagree on that I can engage um, with on quickly? Or? No, I think we've already been talking about all of them. Okay. Uh, question, do you make guys wait for sex? Um, well, I'm not going to lie. I haven't dated any guys in a long time, but I do so, Okay, a little so bit. So say a guy who wants to date you mm-hmm. and you like him, mm-hmm. would you make him wait for sex? Not like really, not the twelve, the twelve dates, but like maybe like a second or a third. Second or third, okay. Depends. So not I feel too like long. you can read 